Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Victoria Garrick here and I'm so excited to, oh my God, someone is walking by my window. Anyways, oh my God, there's another person. Okay, I'm engaged. Ah, if you follow my Instagram, you would see this, you would know this. And if you listen to my podcast, you would also see this and you would know this. This is a what I eat in a day on a work day. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna talk to you about my daily work tasks while also sharing what I eat. And I'm also gonna show you my Cricut Joy because I need to make labels today. We're gonna get organized. It's gonna be amazing. I feel like I haven't filmed an intuitive eating video like literally in forever. For anyone who's new to my channel, intuitive eating is a mindfulness practice and approach to food. It's going to incorporate rational thought, mindfulness, satisfaction, all that good stuff to make sure that I'm choosing and consuming foods that make me feel good. I wanna add a disclaimer, which is so important before you watch any what I eat in a day is eating what I eat will not make you look like me or eating like anyone does not make you look like them. We could all eat the same, work out the same, and we would still all look different. So today, I want the focus to be less on what I am actually eating, but on my process and approach to how I'm making the choice, and how I'm talking to myself, and really fostering a healthy relationship with food. That is the point of these videos, because I know what it's like to have a really crummy relationship with food. So this morning, I will scan through generic emails, which I don't know what those will be yet, and then I have to email one of my managers a more thorough, creative concept for a video that I will be filming for a different sponsorship coming up soon. Let's do it. Okay, I just submitted that and I'm feeling good about it. Also, my office is a mess. I mean, see you guys some of these youtubers are so aesthetic like I admire those girls I wish I could have the aesthetic and the ability to be clean that they do but we're gonna be getting clean today and organized and that's gonna be part of our day so I'm excited now I think it's time to have a snack I think it's well not snack but breakfast I think it's time to eat so let's get to the intuitive eating so now I will think about what I want to eat I already know I mean it's always important to do the little stare at the fridge I've been staring at the fridge all week, okay? Nothing news in here. The thing that is calling me that I think will be my breakfast this morning is an apple cut up with some Nutella peanut butter mixed together on the side for dipping. I mean, oh, that, that sounds like an amazing breakfast. I am also not a huge breakfast eater, so that sounds good to me. Okay, it looks divine. I want to eat it while I make my to-do list for the day, but I physically cannot sit at this desk with food. It is just so messy and gross. So I'm going to speed clean for two minutes and organize this. <gasps> Better. All right, time to eat. I'm excited. This is actually the first time I've ever made a peanut butter Nutella like mash. Any Love Island fans out there? Because yes, I did order myself a Victoria water bottle. I found that I drink way more water throughout the day when I have a sippy straw. I know I said I was gonna do my to-do list while I eat, but I do think I wanna just take like a few minutes to just like eat, enjoy, taste the apple, swallow, just like calm down. Sometimes when we just like wake up and we like eat and we're not even focused on it and then it's like we, you know, so just, Always be mindful during a work day, important to just take that break, allow yourself some moments to be present while you eat. Okay, I do have to start making my to-do list while I finish this. I actually wrote all the notes down on my phone, but I'm gonna put them on a piece of paper because I just feel powerful when I get to cross them off at the end of the day. These are the things we are doing today. Sending LP video film and submit content i have a, a pre-call with a school i'm speaking at as well as a interview following that call film another piece of content for ig stories film youtube video <laughs> which i'm doing right now and then also i need to make my labels i've been wanting to make labels for my dresser for a while now. I'm just trying to get organized in this office, as you can tell. So we're gonna make labels today. And then, tonight, I'm going to Kygo. 
Okay, so now I have to film some sponsored content for Fabletics. You guys know I'm partnered with them and I'm an ambassador. There's a lot that goes into content that you see with a brand. It seems like, oh, you know, you're just tapping through and oh, Vic's wearing Fabletics today. No, no, no. It was a process. <laughs> so I am filming the content right now. I have five story frames to film. So we're gonna do that. I am done submitting the content that is now off my to-do list. I do want to work out because part of one of my story frames will be me on the Peloton bike working out in my outfit. So I'm gonna get a workout in today, which is great because I've been wanting to work out. However, it's 11.30 and I'm getting kind of hungry and I know that by the time I'm done with this workout, I will be ravenous. So I'm going to plan ahead and Postmates something so that by the time I'm done with my workout, I can eat. I want something that's like decently hearty I also want nutritious. I use the word nutritious instead of the word healthy. Ooh, drop my phone. I don't like acting like certain foods aren't healthy. I just want to use the word nutritious. When I say nutritious, I think chicken and um, vegetables and fruit. You know, I think of those foods as nutritious. I don't think of pizza as super nutritious, but I don't think of that as a bad thing either. <laughs> That's my dissertation on nutritious versus healthy. I love the idea of a tender green. I could do a Tokaya burrito as well. I think I'm gonna do tender greens. And I have cheese and crackers here. So if I want more with my salad, I can make cheese and crackers, which I think will be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the tender greens. Wait, now I'm torn though. Do I want a Caesar salad from tender greens or do I want the totally barbecue chicken salad? I think the Caesar salad it tastes good, but it's like there's like three ingredients, like chicken lettuce and Caesar dressing. And I think with the other salad, I will get avocado, I will get cheese, I will get chicken, I will get a totally barbecue flavor, just more flavorful. So we're gonna do that. Throughout that whole experience, I realized that that could be a helpful TikTok that people might enjoy. So. I am quickly now adding to my plate a TikTok that I'm going to film and upload. Sometimes with like my content, I will just be living my life and then be like, mm, this would be a great TikTok or this would be a great Instagram story, this would be a great post. And then I like turn it into that, which is great because then my content is like really a reflection of what's going on in my day. Okay. First half of the TikTok is done. I will finish it when my food arrives. Now I'm gonna get in my quick, I think 20 minute Peloton bike ride as my food is on its way and then we will eat lunch. Sudden twist of events. I'm actually starting to get a really bad headache. Oh, this is the worst. I was sick the past week. I still have an ear infection and I keep getting these headaches though. I don't know why. The doctor said it was stress induced and that I need to slow down. <laughs> This whole video is me not slowing down. I did slow down for three days. The world keeps spinning. I gotta do stuff. I think I feel better when I do things too. Is it bad to work out with a headache? Should I Google it? Regular exercise can reduce the frequency and intensity of headaches. Ooh, the body releases endorphins. Then we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay, ride is over, um, but I feel better that I just got my blood flowing and I'm sweating. I think I'm gonna take a quick shower. By the time I'm done, food is gonna be here and we can eat. Yay! Okay, I am showered and the food is here. Nothing better than shaking a salad. Holy shyster. Mmm. I think it'd be a good piece of bread. Mmm. I'm super happy with this choice. It is like everything I needed. And I'm so, I'm so bummed that this headache came, but hopefully the food and the workout will help. Something I always like to remind everyone is to slow down when you eat. Sometimes when you have a lot going on today, like I feel like I do, you know, you are rushing to do this and do that. And then the food comes and you scarf the food down and you go to your next thing. I always try to make a mindful effort to like, just take a deep breath. Put my phone away, get, tell myself I have 10 minutes. That's a lot of time. I usually can eat things in like two minutes. 10, 15 minutes, just sit here, be present, enjoy, chew, chew slowly, taste, enjoy. You know, it's okay to enjoy our food. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have to film the outro of my TikTok that I'm making simultaneously about this lunch. So I'm gonna do that right now.
Okay, I'm pretty much done. I didn't eat the whole thing, but I'm gonna keep picking at it and sit here and finish some calls um, on my phone. I forgot that I told a friend I would call them about brand building today, so I'm gonna squeeze that in right now. They just texted me. And then I have that speaking to call at two and then the interview at 2.30. $2,000 is nothing, right, compared to it. Like, when you look at the broad scope of what I'm push, and the main thing is community manager is not listening I'm late for my next call, so I'm just gonna start going. It's a Zoom. They're not answering. Oh, 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 nope. Oh, okay. I'm in the wrong place, I'm in the wrong place, I'm in the wrong place, I'm in the wrong place. Mm hmm, yeah. Calls are done. Let's do a little check in. Okay, film a YouTube video. I'm just gonna check it off because I'm doing it right now. Um, send LP the video. I just did that. University pre-call, university interview. Next. Oh, make my labels! Well, I still have time. Okay, let's do the labels now. Put your hands together for the cricket joy! Woo! Okay, for those of you guys who don't know what a cricket is, you're like, why are you saying cricket? That is the name of this machine. Well, the company. And this machine is called Cricut Joy. The Cricut Joy is the smallest cutting machine ever. It makes the coolest, cutest crafts. It's so easy to use. You can make things, projects, in like 15 minutes or less. I love crafts. Um, they bring me so much joy. They make me so happy. I always love to do things like this. And I've been wanting to put labels on those drawers forever. So today's the day. We're doing the labels. I'm feeling organized. The Cricut Joy is functional, super easy to use, and makes all these at-home projects really accessible. And I literally only need two other materials to make this project today. I need my white vinyl and I need my pen and my Cricut. So I'm gonna open up my Cricut design space. And I've already like pulled my shapes and basically you can see um, that there are inches there so you can know exactly how big something's gonna be in real life, which is so helpful and I love. Then I'm just gonna figure out the sizes. I'm gonna choose text that I like. Um, there were so many fonts to choose from, which is great. And the coolest thing is that the Cricut's gonna actually write it. So this pen is going to be used by the Cricut to create these labels. So it literally looks like someone wrote it with the best handwriting ever. And then of course it's gonna cut the labels perfectly. So I'm gonna choose this font. I'm going to start writing in on what I wanna label each drawer. Um, and then I'm gonna do a few things just to make sure I'm telling the Cricut where to cut, what to write. It's actually really, really easy to use. I am someone who's not good with technology and lots of stuff going on and I swear the Cricut Joy is so easy. It like literally makes it so, so simple. I'm gonna go ahead and click make because I am ready. And then I'm gonna have to like load into the Cricut machine um, my vinyl, um, and then I'm gonna drop my pen in and just get ready to go. Okay, so now it's done writing. I'm taking out the pen and I'm putting in the cutting device and then I press the find point blade, go. Now it's gonna cut my labels. Okay, now I just use my little picker and I get my stickers out. Oh, how easy is that? Do I wanna put the labels on the top left or right? I think they're right because I sit there so that I can see easier. Oh my gosh, how cute. I don't think you've ever seen cuter labels in your life. Once again, all of this was made on my Cricut Joy, so thank you Cricut for sponsoring this video. I used Smart Label Writable Vinyl in white, and I also had my special 0.4 Cricut pen. So if you're interested in Cricut, I put some links in the description, you can check it out. Okay, so the work day ended very fast. I was running late, I had to get ready real quick. Max and I now have hot dogs. This is part of my what I eat in day, okay? Got a fuel. Got a fuel. <laughs> Got a fuel. Hi guys.
realize it's the next day. The franticness, franticity, how frantic the end of yesterday was, was wild. Literally, as soon as I finished making the labels and then doing some of those emails, Max was like, I'm gonna be home in 15 and we gotta go. And so I didn't even have time to tell you guys because I had like 10 minutes to put makeup on and get ready for the concert. Anyways, we went. So that was kind of bad. If we're assessing now, this is an intuitive eating video, you know, my thoughts. I definitely didn't plan well enough. I think I thought we were leaving like an hour later than we did. So we left and I didn't get a chance to have like a snack or have food. Um, so right when we showed up to the venue, we got hot dogs, um, which were really good. I literally ate it in three minutes. If you follow my Instagram, you would know I ate that hot dog in three minutes. And then the concert was amazing, so fun. We were with a group of people and the lines were so long to get like more food, like the taco, there's sorry, the hot dog trucks were like just right there. So then by like, mm, I don't know, like a few hours into the concert, we actually left early. I know, lame, right? We're at that stage in life, you know? We left early and we ordered Chick-fil-A right before it closed. And I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I had a large fry. I had a soda. It was delicious. Overall, yesterday, you know, I think I did a good job. I always try to think about like, what did I learn? And what can I do better? What did I learn? Um, I learned that... I need to think ahead more on my busy days. I need to plan ahead. So maybe as much as I love to just be intuitive in the moment when I have a busy day, I have to think ahead so I can have a plan and then I can have something more substantial before I go to the concert. And that's what I learned. So cool. I'll remember that for next time. I guess, yeah, that's what I learned and that's what